Today I'm going to show you how to solve problem number 35 on page 147. This is the problem right here. They are simply asking for you, for you to take the derivative of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now in order to take the derivative of a problem like this, you have to take the derivative of each term one at a time and simply just tag the other ones on the end of it. So the derivative of the first term is 6x squared plus 5. And you simply just tag x minus 3 and x plus 2 right on the end. And then you add the derivative of the second term, which since it's x minus 3, the derivative of x is 1, and since negative 3 is a constant, it just cancels out and turns into 0. So it is, let's rewrite the first term again. Derivative of the second is 1, and then just tag x plus 2 onto the end. Now after that, to take the derivative of x, x plus 2, it is also just 1 since the derivative of x is 1 and plus 2 is also a constant, so it will cancel out. So you just tag the other two terms on to it, 2x to the third plus 5x. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm going to multiply them on the bottom here. And x so it multiplies by x minus 3. And then since the derivative of x plus 2 is 1, just tag it on the end. So you combine all your terms together, multiply these three together, multiply these three together, and multiply this term, this term, and that term all together as well. Now since I have no room on that board, I'm going to continue on to this sheet of paper right here. As I said earlier, the next step is to combine all like terms. Can you on the next line? Okay. Now that I've combined all those together, the next step is to combine all these all like terms together. So I'm first going to start with any term that has x with the exponent of 4 on it. So we have 6x to the 4th, 2x to the 4th, and another 2x to the 4th. And that will be, add those three together and you'll get 10x to the 4th. Now we're going to combine all terms with x with an exponent of 3. There's 6x to the third, 4x to the third, and, our, and negative 6x to the third. When you combine those three together, you'll get a negative 8x to the third. Next, we'll combine all terms with an x squared in it. We have negative 36x squared, 5x squared, another 5x squared, and another 5x squared. After you combine all those terms together, you'll get a negative 21x squared. And now we're just going to combine any terms with uh, just an x in it. So we have a negative 5x, a 10x, and a negative 15x. When you combine all those together, you will get a negative 10x. And finally, we have the only constant we have is negative 30. So you just tag it on to the end. And your answer is
So the final answer is 10x to the fourth minus 8x to the third minus 21x squared minus 10x minus 30. And that is how you find a derivative of problem number 35 on page 147. Thank you.